Tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. I must take a moment by myself. Excuse me. We did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I love you, Red McCraith. But? But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? Charles would have done the same for your ghost or mine. I hope he'd have at least hesitated. Charles was a good man, full of love. Banishing his ghost wouldn't have been easy, but it would have been right. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake, they steal life's essence from the living. Aye. They don't always do it out of malice. The man. We are banishers. We end suffering for those who live. We bring closure to those who don't. A ghost may suffer too. A sin puts a gentler end to it. But not a safer one. Better to banish and be sure. Would you banish me? If it came to? You'll not escape me so easy. You I would bring back from the dead. <laughs> That's not funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost, you <laughs> with me. I would. Then I'd kill you again for dying before I do. Sometimes you scare me. I know. Do you think Charles was right? This thing in the meeting house could be... A what did he call it? A nightmare? I really hope not. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers.
We'll see tomorrow. Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. Charles. Poor Esther. No, poor Esther. Fire bean. She says I'm the reckless one. Where are you? I'm in the meeting now, sonny. There. And there. Why would you go up there alone? Open. And there. Oh. Don't suppose you specters have seen Antea, have you? you see? We never stood a chance. Antea, are you hurt? Where are you? <sighs> I'm here, my love. What happened? God came to the man in a dream and said, Behold, thou art dead. But the man had done nothing wrong and said, Lord, wilt thou also slay the righteous?
will you slay the righteous? Not alarmed. I bring you aid. There is no aid. There is only dereliction. Where's Antea? What have you done with her? That was Paul's. Lady, if you hurt her... You cling to love, a fool to the last. There is no love. There is only defilement. There is no aid. There is only... Retribution. Give him back. How touching. You come to claim your man. You think you love him. You do not. There, in the dark of your marrow, there is no love. Only betrayal. I offer you a trade. He stays, and you leave with your life! I'll bargain with no ghost. You have a brain, yet you think with your idiot heart! You're weak! Will you come to her aid now, when all is lost? If you do, I'll be waiting. The icy ocean made a diamond from his grief, then buried it in his heart. The weight of his failure dragged him down. Outside time, drowning in the gloom, he spoke her name.
Take me instead, he screamed, soundless, to the cold and silent waters. Out beyond the black veil of death, something heard his cries and reached for him. Ah, you're awake. Who are you? She who rescued you. Tended you for days on end. Weeks, maybe. Weeks? Oh, God. What have I done? Get your strength back before you beat yourself up. She's there. Yes. That's why you're here. And why I was sent to look after you. Who are you? I feel like we've met, but I'm sure we have not. I feel like I know you forever, but do I? You're confused. It's normal. You've been near killed by a nightmare, you've lost your beloved, and now you've a witch by your sickbed. Witch? Witch. I go by Seeker. Find the Banisher, said my mistress. Tend him, then answer any questions he asks you before you leave him be. So, how do you feel? Does it matter? <gasps> of course it matters. It means you're alive, and you haven't given up. do now? How do I... How do I do it alone? You're not alone. Have faith. If Ceridian had told me more, I'd tell you it. But you must have faith. This isn't what I want. Not like this. Not without her. No one gets what they want. You get what comes. And if you survive, you get changed by it. You have a hole in you, a yawning, grimacing pit in your soul. That's love, that is. The hole won't fill because the love won't die. God, what have I done? Here's the thing. Unlike most, you get a second chance. I suggest you seize it. Why do you hate me? I serve my mistress. She bids me help you. So I help you. Ceridian says the wall between the living and the dead is under threat. You, it seems, have a part to play. This is mine. You've lost me. No, I found you. But so did your grief. And it demands to be felt. You may think you're done with your ghosts, Red McCraith. But they aren't done with you. I'll go now. Rest. Why ever my mistress saved you, she has good reasons. The best. Where are you going? Oh, to Ceridian. She needs me. Where shall I find you? Or when I need to? Maya marshes. Great big swamps other side of the woods. You can't miss them. We'll know when you come. Until we... Yeah, then. That's right, Banisher. Now... Turn around. What? I'm leaving.
Where am I? Not the time. Am I the last bloody living soul here? Yeah. <laughs> 
What is happening? What? It's here? This is not happening. This can't be happening. Antea, call me to you. Aloha, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm here! Lead me to you! Thank you. 
Right here. My love. Right here. Please, you. I have you. Have me. Um. No, don't go. I'm here. Follow me. Where are you going? Over here. I have you. I'm right here. Where are you? Where have you gone? Antea! Feel hollow. Do not be troubled. How could I not be? To have lost you and found you like this. And you're hungry. That's one way to say it, yes. What can I do? Charles's Bible, the tie that bound his ghost. remains upon it. For now, it will do me. did this. I feel better. Look at you. At us. I know. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're back. Truly. The living should not truck with the dead. I've known that since childhood. I learned the hard way. You never told me this. What happened? It was a lifetime ago. For now, it doesn't matter. Are you still hungry? I'm hollow. As if I were filled with emptiness. So the essence Charles left on his Bible was useless. Consuming his tie did make me feel better. But I'll need more. Much more. We should talk about what happened. After the meeting house, I mean.
What do you remember from after you died? I remember the suddenness of my death. I remember nothing, but After that, a nothingness. Timeless. Lost. And then I heard you. You spoke my name. I searched for a way back. I woke up in a cave. Been rescued by a young woman named Seeker. A witch's apprentice. She was proud to tell me that. Her mistress had sent her to take care of me. Witches rarely show themselves. Intriguing that one would help us. I think we should go back to New Eden Town. I agree. To free me, I believe we must reclaim my body. I refuse to be this way. I'll not abide it. I'm so sorry, my love. How can I help? I'm a ghost. You're a banisher. I'll not banish you. I cannot and tear. So you die. You can't ask that of me. If that's what I wanted, you'd have no choice. But you don't wish it, do you? Not before I've had my revenge. Not before I've seen the nightmare defeated by you and me both. Could I give you your assent? That would be the simplest solution, but not the easiest. Why? My body is my tie, and the nightmare still holds it. In the meeting house, but before she let me fall, I swear she dared me to come back. She's as devious as she is powerful. She won't just hand it over. In the schoolhouse, he joked about bringing me back to life. Is that possible? Yes. The ritual of lesser palingenesis. It's extremely difficult. Highly dangerous. I could try, right? You'd teach me, and I'd bring you back. Red, it's an ancient ritual. It requires power. It consumes essence in large quantities. We're talking about human sacrifice. Murder. Just maybe. We could consider it. I mean, if there's the slightest chance I could bring you back. It's a dark ritual, Red. It's tempting, and that's dangerous. To think of being back in your arms. I'm tempted to. Then what shall we do? If we are to return to New Eden Town, we must first learn more about our enemy. Charles said nightmares don't appear without good reason. Yes. We have a mystery to solve. Witches to meet. People to find and questions to ask. And then you'll help me go. One way or another. I will. I swear it, Mother. Rest. You need it. I'll stay close.
On to New Eden, whichever way it lies. We'll need provisions, going for the basics. We'll manage, together. What the hell happened here? Well, if you're gonna play with salt circles, you better get them right, lad. Took him. Can you not see the symbols on the wall? No. Take my hand. I want to try something. Whoa. Is that possible through our bane rings? They allow us to connect the invisible and the incarnate. Through this bond, what I see I bestow on you. Those webs made of spectral stains. Let me. I feel like we're not done here. All these years, the things we must have missed. The dead hide more from the living than we thought. This is going to be helpful. We can fight them together. Time to work, Banisher. Back down to hell! Ah. It's here. 
hidden. That spectre, it's heading for that corpse. Just New Eden Town. What happened here for the veil to be so thin? War, invasion, or colonization of a land that's vulnerable to haunting. Hunting gear. There might be a lodge nearby. You took yourself up there very fast. That might take some getting used to, for both of us. They had talent or training. What if someone sees you? Unlikely. If they had talent or training, they wouldn't have needed us banishers.
These witches you mentioned must know something about the nightmare. Aye, but can we trust them? Well, witches only involve themselves with people if they absolutely have to. Yours must have good reason. I think I see a crossing over there. Signs of civilization. Lucky me.